We just got home from a after work jog with my two really good friends. Um, we call ourselves we call ourselves the sloth running team. If you guys are watching, you know you know who you are, my fellow slothies. Um, oops. <laughs> uh, we might not be the fastest, but damn, we did a good run today. It was a little bit um, a little bit overcast out, but it actually makes for a really nice run. Um, makes it all not so sweating your butt off and everything like that. So I'm gonna do a little. <clears throat> Um, start of my next two months and a bit before my BC trip. I really need to come up with a better name for this. A little, uh, um, before and then I'll do an after. So this is going to be the before. Um, oh, I wish I could flip my camera around, but I can't. I need to take off my, my fanny pack. <laughs> take off my fanny pack, which I love my fanny pack um okay. okay yeah so this is my comparison shirt that i'm gonna wear right now and then in two months from now and uh oh today is may 8th i kind of started this um amping up my nutrition journey yesterday so and then i'll be uh checking it probably around july 12th 13th right before my bc trip um, anyway, so this is the comparison shirt I'm going to wear. Actually, I think this has gotten a little looser on me since I did um, my comparison photo. If any of you guys follow me, possibly on Facebook or Instagram, I wore this shirt at the end of December 2017 and then <clears throat> in March 2018 here. And it had gotten considerably looser, so that that's what it's all about. <laughs> So what it's all about for me is how my clothes feel and how I feel in them. So yeah, this is kind of what the shirt is looking like right now. I guess it's it is looking pretty loose. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is gonna be the best shirt to use as a comparison for the next two months. I might have to put on something a little more form fitting and then use that as a two month comparison. But yeah, and I also did, I wrote down my measurements today, so they're in my little book here. <clears throat> oh, there's my, ta-da, my dresser. Um, oh, okay, so, there they are. So, bust is 46 and a half inches. Um... Waist, 41 inches. Hips, so waist is here and then hips down here. 45 inches. Arm, so that's kind of the wing there. 13 inches, and then you measure your upper leg here, so that's about 23 inches. And, um, like I said before, I don't obsess over measurements or a number on a scale. But I do feel that measurements are a more accurate um, tracking device, I guess, of uh, my progress. And, like, fat and weight lost or muscle gained in some cases. Um, so, yeah, I will do a check-in then in about two months from now. So maybe I'll try on a little more form-fitting shirt and we'll see, and then we'll do a comparison in two months. Yay! Okay, this is going to be a good comparison shirt, I think, because I just got these baseball-type tees from Walmart. I got two of them because I've been really wanting this baseball, baseball style. I don't know why, I just think it's cute. Um, but they only had extra large as the biggest size, so that's what I got, and... Though it does fit me, and I could probably wear it right now, I just feel like I got some bulge going on in places where I want it to soon be gone. So, this is going to be a good comparison picture. So this is what the shirt's looking like on right now. Not a lot of wiggle room, not very loose, especially because I like my clothes nice and loose. 
I wonder if I can get a back shot, maybe not. So yeah, this is what this looks like right now. Maybe I'll take a picture too. It'll be a com comparison for myself. In two months. Yay. But that said, I hope I don't have to wait two months to wear this shirt. I really like these shirts. <laughs> Making some chicken, sort of a rice bowl. Sort of a salad rice bowl. I don't know. I think some restaurants call these Buddha bowls. It's got some chicken frying here. Got some rice. I know I'm not supposed to peek at rice, but I'm peeking. I just don't like when it sticks to the uh, almost the pot because then it's really hard to clean. And I'm gonna put in some chickpeas and some lettuce and some broccoli which I need to cut up right now and a little bit of feta and some tzatziki oh you guys this is the best tzatziki it's Opa brand like like the restaurant Opa and but you can buy it at Sobeys Sobeys is the best sometimes. It's really good. I don't know how... Eh. It's only 35 calories per two tablespoons. So that's not bad. So I'm going to mix that in my little bowl. So i show you what that looks like. Ooh, and maybe I'll put some chia seeds in there. In my big sack of chia seeds. Because I'm trying to be creative <laughs> and make myself a healthy meal without bread. So... This is supper one, sans bread. <laughs> As promised, <clears throat> here is my delicious, I'm gonna call it a Buddha bowl or a rice bowl. So it looks quite big, but there's like up to this much lettuce in there. And then on top I got some broccoli, some garlic, turmeric, chicken, Chickpeas, feta cheese, um, chia seeds, wild rice mix, and then a glob of tzatziki. I'm so hungry and so excited to eat this. I'll maybe uh, put the recipe that I <laughs> made up on the fly this evening in the description box below. <clears throat> so in an effort to amp up my nutrition as I was saying I've decided to instigate on myself start on myself oh my gosh, look at all the yellow yellow wall, yellow flower yellow lemons um, <clears throat> I'm just going outside right now so I gotta move you around outside to eat my love Jackson being such a good boy. Um, so what I was saying is I've decided to implement my first food challenge <clears throat> food challenge for myself. So I'm going to be <clears throat> cutting out bread. Basically bread not all gluten things. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try mm, two, three. What should I try? I'm going to try three weeks because I think it takes approximately three weeks, 21 days to build a habit. Uh, not saying that I'm never going to eat bread again. But, you can't sit either. It blew over. <laughs> um, it's a little blustery out today. I love being outside. So, yeah, I'm going to cut out bread for three weeks. Not all gluten. I'm still going to probably have some pasta, rice, stuff like that. Because this challenge, food challenges for me aren't to torture myself or deprive myself in any way. Um, it's just, I just want to see how I do not eating bread and I know bread 
makes me pretty bloaty. So I want to see how it affects, um, you know, my weight loss goals and my getting health and fit goals. And I want to see how it affects my skin. And just a bunch of things. I don't know what it's going to affect. I don't know how hard or not hard or how easy this is going to be. Um, I'm going to have to find, you know, sometimes substitutes. And a lovely idea is um, if you have like a burger or something, wrapping it in lettuce. That is so good. Or having lettuce boats uh, with like a chicken tomato, avocado mixture, stuff like that. Uh, so I have some ideas. I think the hardest will be not just grabbing a piece of toast <clears throat> for breakfast in the morning or we have tons of delicious bagels in our freezer and those are really nice treats sometimes. Um, again, not saying to not treat yourself, but just in an effort of my next two months and a bit of amplifying my nutrition and really honing in on that. Um, to help meet my goals. I'm going to, for the next three weeks, not have any bread. So I'm just out and about, and I had to vlog this. I went downtown to get some shoes, um, and there was food trucks everywhere, and 20th was just bumping. So I had a gift card, and in the interest of getting myself healthy treats, I got a turmeric iced tea latte and turmeric's supposed to be really damn good for you. I'll maybe research. I've been researching it a little bit. I'll tell you some little facts later about it. This is so good. It's sweet and just a little bit spicy. Mm. And then you guys, okay, first of all, I know I'm supposed to be off bread for three weeks and I have been doing really well at that, but I went to the good, G-U-D, food truck and everything there is plant-based. Look at this burger. Can you guys see that? And it's wrapped so cute, a little good sticker. Oh my god. I cannot wait to bite into this. I'm gonna drive home because I'm really close to home. And take a big old bite because it looks amazing. So yeah, everything's plant-based and I was like, damn, there's bread in this, but it's a really healthy option. I'm really hungry from, uh, I haven't eaten yet and I went to the gym this morning. Oh yeah. So yeah, like I said, my burger from Good. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's so good. I bit into it and literally tastes like a delicious beef burger. And it's chocked full of veggies. And yeah, it's 100% vegan and plant-based. That's the only types of ingredients they use. I will link them below. I think they have a restaurant um, and a food truck, so yeah. It's so good, so filling. It's, you know what, it's worth it, breaking my no bread for three weeks rule uh -huh, challenge. Does this mean I failed the challenge? I don't know. I'm gonna pick it back up right away, but I mean, I didn't want to deprive myself of trying something, especially I was trying something healthy. I was trying a healthy food truck instead of I could have got like, you know, something unhealthy and then that would have just ruined my progress. Although, I mean, if you want a treat, you gotta have a treat. Yum! Highly recommend.